How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. And today, I know I mentioned a few days ago that Deadly Towers couldn't possibly be the worst thing on the NES because other far worse video games were published on the NES. I can't say that about this game. Because this game, aside from it just being a bad video game, it's also a very crappy money grab. It was such a bad money grab that we were told this by the writer of the film it was based on. Because the writer of the film it was based on was not allowed to express concerns about the horrible quality of this game. This game is from 1989. It was developed by Beam Software, published by LJN. And if you haven't figured it out by now, today we're going to talk about Back to the Future. So, first things first, we, we kind of got to talk about the music. So, there, are, there have been YouTube videos that have popped up that debunk whatever theory anyone had about the music in this game. Truth is, <clears throat> the music, for whatever reason, they couldn't figure out how to get the music right based on the based on whatever with the NES and I don't know if they were able they weren't able to get it to work with the specifications of the US NES console because Beam Software is not a US developer they're a European developer um but for whatever reason they couldn't get that to work also, there's been speculation that this wasn't the what the final draft of the game was supposed to look like. That I agree with. I don't think this was what we were supposed to get. But because of the time crunch that Beam was under, LJN was basically forcing them to just give us whatever. And that's what we got was a big chunk of whatever. So this game is set in 1955 where the bulk of the first film takes place. Marty's stuck in the past and has to get back to 1985. Well, so the game, the, the, a chunk of the game takes place on the streets where Marty has to collect clocks. Marty has to collect clocks and avoid bullies and bees and dudes carrying invisible panes of glass and girls that are walking around awkwardly and all manner of hazards, right? None of this stuff feels like it works with the actual, it, it fit in with anything from the actual movie. There's also the, the time that is actually represented by a photo of Marty and his siblings that will disappear over time. And if you collect a hundred clocks, it refills. If you don't and everybody disappears, you lose a life. Okay. Then there are the levels where you have to dodge your mom's advances which are represented by hearts. She's trying to kiss you. You have to use a, a, bind, a notebook or something to block the hearts, whatever. All the, the malt shop level where you throw malts at the bullies that are running at you, the, the level with the dance where you gotta catch musical notes, you gotta angle the guitar, the thing with the DeLorean, all of those levels are just mediocre at best and just they, they would have been mediocre at best if 
the if the level design the controls the sound direction everything wasn't so broken everything is broken this game feels like a color dreams game it is awful i don't understand what was going on with what 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 is going on here this game is terrible i don't understand and i will forever be angry at whoever was at the top of the food chain when this game was was developed and published more so with ljn than with beam software because beam i think wanted to take time with this game but ljn wanted to have this out in time for the release of back to the future 2. this game is not good it's awful it's absolutely horrendous i don't care you this is the worst video game i've ever played and i played rise of the robots this is the worst thing on the nes because this was done with the knowledge that people were going to play it because they liked back to the future now if you decide you want a copy of this game you shouldn't pay more than five bucks for it if someone tries to charge you more than five dollars for this cartridge you should call the authorities because they are committing a crime this game is terrible it's absolutely terrible i don't have any quips any jokes nothing this is a bad video game this has been the 8-bit animal and tomorrow I will have something better for you. Tomorrow. Yep. This takes the prize for most misleading box art of all time. <laughs>